looking <laughs> between the space time, curved space time itself, and the local vacuum. That's where the symmetry is coming in. Whatever happens to it from space time is balanced by what the opposite being happened. That stabilizes, holds it right there. It's in an equilibrium condition. So yes, this is the way you have to explain what you're doing. Now, how do you get that done scientifically? You don't have a lot of choices of people that can handle that kind of electrodynamics, but you do have them. They are available. You got to be sure you got a couple of them. Terry Barrett, Myron Evans is, is out of it because Myron has a, a, a genetic problem. He's in Wales right now anyway, and he's being taken care of. But he's one of the most brilliant minds on this planet, so you could use him for consulting purposes. He also is a, a chemical physicist. He knows not only the physics and all this other stuff and all the higher symmetry electromagnetics, he's a founder of that, but he also knows chemistry. So he'd be an ideal consultant. Terry Barrett can handle all this higher symmetry electromagnetics and he can, he can hang in there with all of this. So you have to have people that know general relativity, know unified field theory where there's higher symmetry electromagnetics developed so that you can unify, you can't unify U1, the electrodynamics with general relativity, they're diabolically opposed. One says the, flat, the space time is flat, the other said, no, it ain't, it's curved. You can't put two things like that together. They don't fit. So, you know, in country boy language, they're stupid to try to fit them. They don't fit. Yeah. And nature's unified. Nature doesn't have it separated where they never get together and never operate at the same time. That's not true. Nature has them always operating. So what you're doing, as far as I'm concerned, is magnificent. But you're advancing chemistry out of a flat space-time, no vacuum interaction model into a non-abelian model where you have a curved space, a unified field theory model where you have both a curved space-time and you have an active vacuum interacting with that system itself, with that chemical system itself, with those molecules themselves. If you manipulate the charges, baby, and change the engine they're using, you can change what molecule they will form and be stable. And that's what you're doing. Can all be described with good theory. It will not fit the chemical model in most of those chemist's heads. It never will, because you're not doing that. You're outside their model working. It's okay. That's what advanced in science is called. And in the scientific method, we're supposed to do precisely that if the experiments are replicable and, and done well. If they continue to be replicated and give results that refute the present model, all they're telling us is we've got to change our model. Nature works this way, and I go model it this way. That's what they're telling us. That's scientific method. That's the advance of science. So that's what ought to be done.